Good morning, YouTube. You're watching Limitless North TV. I'm Akai Block, and we are talking about 12 major axioms for investing, for finances, and life. And today is a very interesting one. We're talking about major axiom number eight on religion and the occult. Now, this is a really interesting one, but I promise you that there are points in here that apply to your finances and investing and things that you should be aware of, all right? So let's get into it. I'm going to read a little thing, and then we're going to break it down. So major axiom number eight on religion and the occult. It is unlikely that God's plan for the universe includes making you rich. Assume that you are on your own. Rely on nothing but your own wits. Minor axiom number 12 says that if astrology worked, all astrologers would be rich. Minor axiom number 13 says a superstition need not be exercised. It can be enjoyed provided that it is kept in its proper place. So let's talk about this. It's unlikely that God's plan for the universe includes making you rich. So assume that you're on your own. Rely on nothing but your own wits. So typically people get in this place where we blame God if we aren't getting the results we want. But it's unlikely that God has said, I'm going to make you wealthy. That I'm going to provide everything for you without you having to work for it, without you having to think for it, without you having to do things for it. Now, of course, grace is included. God is a God of grace, a God of love, and he has provision for us. And ultimately, he wants to be our provider, right? So he will give us our needs if we rely on him. But to go above and beyond that, you typically are given the potential from God to do whatever it is that you set your heart on, whatever it is he's called you to, whatever it is he allows, right? But you have the potential deep down to explore that. And so you set your sights on something and then you need to assume that you're more or less on your own to accomplish it. You have to take full responsibility to make things happen, to invest wisely. You know, people invest their money and they lose it and then they blame God for it or certain things don't work out in their life and they blame God, but that is the wrong approach and that's such a fallacy. We have to take self-responsibility for the things that we do. We have to thank God for the grace that he gives us and the provision that he gives us, but we ultimately need to be responsible for the decisions we make, the actions we take, the knowledge that we gain and learn, the way that we apply ourselves and the homework that we do on things before we invest in them. So assume that you're more or less on your own, rely on nothing but your own wits, and improve those wits. Take the challenge to make yourself better, to rise to better occasions, right? So if astrology worked, all astrologers would be rich, so don't just base your life or your finances on these esoteric things that mean nothing. Now, superstition doesn't need to be exercised. It can be enjoyed provided it's kept in its place. So you don't have to get rid of all superstitions in your life. You know, some of them can be okay to be enjoyed, but just keep them in their proper place. Don't let them apply to areas that they don't need to apply to and realize that they're simply that, a superstition. Now, my personal opinion is wipe out all superstitions. That doesn't include God. That doesn't include loving God and understanding that God is real and that he's worked in your life and created you to love you and stuff. That's not a superstition, but a superstition like walking under a ladder or a black cat crossing the road or fears and doubts on things that have nothing to do with anything or are waiting for luck and finding ways to become more lucky. Don't rely on those. Rely on truth. Rely on grace. Rely on uh, ability and responsibility and gaining new skills and knowledge and 